You know what's going on right here? What's going on right here? You under, no, you understand what he just read? You didn't even understand it, did you? I can tell by looking. What he just read to you, that the other nations, the Arabs, the Chinese, the Japanese, are selling to your people to keep us in sin. To keep us at the bottom. What did you say? The other nations, the Arab man, the Chinese man, the white man, the Caucasian man, sell to our people to keep us in sin. You said you love God, right? You say you love God, right? How do you, how do you show God you love him? That's the question for you. How do you show God you love him? Do what? We're going to finish verse 18. Listen, listen, listen to what it's saying though. He's not just reading it for no reason. He's trying to get you to understand. He's trying to save your life. He's trying to show you how you really should love God. Verse 17. We're going to go to 18. Verse 18. Did not your fathers thus, and did not our God bring us all this evil thing upon us? Bring it out. This is an evil thing God brought, brought upon us. The curses. Can we break in God's commandments? That's right. We ain't really. Remember, you said to love God means what? Keep the commandments, right? Now he read to you Exodus 20 and 8. Go back to Exodus 20 and 8. You're trying to save your life. You know what sin is? If, if, do you think you can get saved by Christ if you commit if you commit sin? You say yes. Do you? Is it you? So you're saying if you commit sin, Christ is going to save you? Say that again. So that's, what I'm, that's what I'm asking. Do you think if you commit sin, Christ is going to save you? What do you say? If you ask him for forgiveness. So if you ask him for forgiveness, what, what does that mean you're going to try to do? Stop sinning, right? Right. Stop sinning, right? When you ask forgiveness, if a man cheats on you, right, he asks you to forgive him. Are you gonna keep forgiving him and keep on cheating on you? If a man cheats on you, right, go out with another girl and he keep doing it and doing it and doing it. And keep asking for forgiveness, are you gonna keep forgiving him? What do you say? If you marry, so you say if you marry, you gotta keep forgiving that man? You're gonna stay with him, not gonna separate from him. And he keep going out, he give you an STD. And he keep going to other woman. You gonna still keep forgiving him? You said you said yes. So you willing to die for that man that he's sitting there? How? That's a crazy answer, sister. You can't you can't die for a person that's in sin. What did he say? Jesus died for us to be repented to, to stop committing the sins and to keep doing them. Read it. Read it. Exodus chapter twenty, verse eight. Remember the Sabbath day to keep it holy. He says, remember the Sabbath day to keep it holy. Today's the Sabbath day. You got to keep it holy. Go to Romans 6, 23. What, what, do, you, what do you think is going to happen if you continue to sin? What do you think is going to happen? Come on, brother. He's going to try to Benjamin. Benjamin, come over, brother. That's what's going to be my question to you and the sister. What's going to happen to a person that stays in sin? Say that one more time. What happens to a person that stays in sin? Do you know what do you know what sin is? Yeah. What is sin? Sin is basically all the things that you do wrong that's not pertaining to the Bible. Everything you're going against everything that is in the Bible, not following the Bible laws. Okay. So what okay, perfect, perfect. You know what sin is? Read it, read it. We're gonna read it. Well what you said is is true and it's right in the Bible. So he said he said, um do you understand when he said you're from chapter Benjamin? You understand that? When he asked you when he told you that? Tell me, explain that to me. What does it What does it mean to be from the tribe of Benjamin? Cause you from what island? Trinidad. Trinidad. Yeah, yeah Trinidad. Well, I guess I'm a Trinidadian American. I don't know. Trinidadian American. Yeah. All right, so American comes from Amerigo Vespucci. That's a white man. Trinidad was named by the British who conquered that land. I don't see you as British or Caucasian. How can you be Trinidadian American? Bring it out. The Bible don't call you that. The Bible calls you for the trouble of Benjamin. We're gonna, we're gonna show you that. Go to Deuteronomy 28. We're gonna show you that. So you understand that sin is going going against anything that's in the, the laws of the Bible, right? Yeah, 
You understand that? Would you say? Would you? Would you? Would you find? Do you think you're in sin right now? What sin? What sin are you? Are you? Are you committing? Drinking? No, it's not. I can't. I can't tell you drinking right now. Right? Like right now? Today? Right now? What I just said. The sin that the sin that you're breaking right now is breaking the Sabbath, Lord's Sabbath day. But we're gonna show you who you are according to the Bible. Real quick, I'm gonna, I'm gonna prove to you you're not Trinidadian that you are an Israelite according to this Bible, right? How did the Trinidadians get into that land? So cool. How did how they get there? Um, this is what it says. Basically, they get get in there by a boat. We don't we don't have a boat. Boat and someone is coming. Hey, brother. What I'm what I'm doing? I'm breaking him right down is he wants. To, I'm telling him how did the Trinidadians get to that land? It's in the Bible. How did African Americans get to this land? Slavery, right? Slavery. We're going to read it. We're going to read Deuteronomy 28, verse 15. Deuteronomy chapter 28, verse 15. But it shall come to pass if thou wilt not hearken. Hey, brother, 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 brother. I'm talking to you. I'm talking to both of y'all. I'm talking to both of y'all. You call yourself a black man today? A bl how? You ain't even black. Your skin ain't your skin ain't black. How how is that nation, your nationality? That's the problem with us in today's society where we can't get nowhere and come together. We call ourselves things that we're not that was given to us by, by the slave master. Bring it out. You not you not black. You can't go to a country called black. African American. I African come from Leo Scipio Africanus. That's a Roman general. American come from Amerigo Vespucci. That's another white man. How then can I call you African American? That's, that'd be disrespectful. That came out in 1985 with Desi Jackson. The term African American. So what was, what was we called before that? The Bible got the answer, bro. Read up. Just listen for five minutes. Deuteronomy chapter 28, verse 15. But it shall come to pass if thou wilt not hearken unto the voice of the Lord thy God. Now Moses is talking. Read 27, verse 1. Moses is talking to a certain group of people. We're going to get that. Read it. Deuteronomy chapter 28, 27, verse 1. And Moses, with the elders of Israel, commanded the people, saying, Keep all the commandments which I have commanded you this day. So Moses is talking to who? The Israelites, right? That's what the Bible says, right? So when we get to 28, verse 15, it's the same context. He's talking to the same people. He said, if you don't keep God's commandments, right, curses are going to come upon you. Now, wouldn't you say getting, getting taken on a slave ship, being shackled down like this, would this be a, would this be a curse? They're not having to our people? To the Haitians, Jamaicans, Puerto Ricans, they're not having to our people? We're going to read it. We're going to read it in the Bible. So read 28 and verse 46. Deuteronomy chapter 28. Verse 46, and it shall come to pass, and they, and they shall be upon thee for a sign. And they shall be what? And they shall be upon thee for a sign. And the curse is going to be upon the Israelites for a sign. What does a sign do? What does a sign do? That sign says Wolf Fargo's, right? I know it's Wolf Fargo's, right? Bravo, I know a sign identifies something. He said the curse is going to be upon the Israelites for a sign. Now you said we got here on slave ships, right? That's the history, right? That's the proof, right? Read 68. Verse 68. And the Lord shall bring thee into Egypt again with ships. The Lord shall bring thee into slavery, Egypt, again with ships. As you read the story, the children of Israel walked out of Egypt. Why is he saying we'll bring you to Egypt again with ships? You got any, got any, any reason why? Exodus 20 and verse 2. We're going to explain it to you. The Bible explains it. We've been lied to, bro. This image right here, over, right here, they've been lying to us our whole lives. They got us thinking that I'm African American, I'm black, I'm Haitian, I'm Jamaican. I'm with, all these names don't mean anything. Read this. Exodus chapter 20, verse 2. I am the Lord thy God, which have brought thee out of the land of Egypt. What you out of Egypt? Out of the house of bondage. What? Out of the house of bondage. So Egypt means what? House of bondage. So when you read verse 68, you understand when it says, I'm going to bring you into Egypt again. Which way this time? With ships. 
I'm going to bring you into bondage again with ships. Why? Because we're breaking God's commandments. We eat the wrong foods. We sleep with multiple women. We don't marry our women. Bring it out. We break the Lord's Sabbath day. Read it. Deuteronomy chapter 28, verse 68. And the Lord shall bring thee into Egypt. Into Egypt slavery. Again with ships. With ships. Read on. By the way whereof I spake unto thee. Thou shalt see it no more again. <laughs> right here. Jerusalem is, is attached. You have something called a Suez Canal. The Suez Canal detached Jerusalem from Africa. Our real, this is our motherland right here. Read on. And there you shall be sold unto your enemies. There you should be sold unto your enemies. What happened to us here? You getting it. You get What happened to us here? What happened to us in, here in Haiti, in Jamaica, in America? What happened to us here? Bring it out. But we're not sold to our enemies? Did this, happen, did this happen to us? Right or wrong? So who was Moses talking to in his Bible though? Or we just read? Who was he talking to? Did he say black people? Let's see what he said. Let's see. Read 27 verse 1. 27 verse 1. You got it. Deuteronomy chapter 27, verse 1. And Moses with the elders of Israel, with the elders of Israel, commanded the people, saying, Keep all the commandments which I have commanded you this day. So Moses talking to black people? Who was he talking to by name in the Bible? That's what that was going to happen to. Oh, no. I missed it. We're going to read it again for you, brother. Let me see if you get it. We'll read it. Is it he, he? What is he saying? What people is he talking to? Read. Deuteronomy chapter 27, verse 1. And Moses, with all the elders of Israel, commanded the people, saying, Keep all the commandments which I have commanded you this day. So who is he talking to? The elders of Israel. Who was is the people? Who was the people he's talking to? The Israelites. That's you. That's you. Of course, in the Bible that we're reading the curses, that is you. Right. That identifies who we are today. Yes. We're not. Right. We're not Trinidadian. We're not Jamaican. We're not Haitian. We're not. This brother right here. What's the tribe? You Judah. Benjamin. Benjamin. This brother right here is your brother. Bring it out. I'm so called African American. I'm from the tribe of Judah. The names don't mean anything. You I get that? What about you? You get it? You listening? You listening? It's connected? Yeah, read Deuteronomy 1 and 1. Deuteronomy 1 verse 1. Deuteronomy? Hold on, no, listen. I'm going to ask you a question. The Bible is talking about actually... Yeah, the Bible is basically says what is actually... This is what it is. Not what the world is talking You see this? African American, Benjamin, West Indies, West Indian Black. The names don't mean nothing. This is what we want. Puerto Rican. Puerto Rican means rich port. Who, now listen, listen. When we read it, right? When we read it about going to slavery on slave ships, right? Did it happen to the African Americans? Did it happen to the, to, the, to, the, to the West Indians? The Haitians? The Puerto Ricans? The Cubans? The Dominicans? All these curses happened to him. Read verse 101. Read it. 
Deuteronomy chapter 1, verse 1. These be the words which Moses spake unto all Israel. Unto all Israel. Now remember, read verse 46 again. Remember what verse 46 it says, They, the curses, will be upon you for a sign. You out of here? Hey, give us a call, man. Come to the school. It's right there on the back of it. Look at the back. Right there on the back of it. Israel United in Christ. On the back of the fly. Right there in the popcorn. You can come learn more of your history of who you are and what we should be doing. All right? Hey, so you, so look, my brother. What's your name? Trenton. My name is Mike. Michael. So, is it connected to him? Read verse 46. Deuteronomy chapter 28, verse 46. And they shall be upon thee for a sign. And they shall be upon thee. The day he's talking about is read verse 45. Verse 45. Moreover, all these curses, verse 46, verse 46, and they shall be upon thee for a sign. So the curses are going to be upon the Israelites for a sign to identify who they are. What's your background? Are you African American, Haitian, Jamaican? What's your background? African American. All right, so you speak English, right? Okay. You don't look English. You don't look like an Englishman. Bring it out. Why do you speak that language? Verse 54. I'm going I'm 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 to read the Bible scripture when I want to see what you say. You know why. You're American, right? The American comes from who? The British people, right? Whatever, like, I'm from Africa, but I come from America. Why do you speak English? Because that's the language. The Bible's going to tell you. The same reason? The Bible's going to tell you. Yeah, the same reason why I feel it. The Bible's going to tell you why. Read. 49. 49. The Lord shall bring a nation against thee from far. The Lord shall bring a nation against thee from far. Now, Africa is over here, right? Europe, Europe is right here, right? The west coast of the west, yeah, and now for the Bible, people captivities. The west coast of, of Africa is all the way down here, right? There's a nation. He's gonna bring a nation against thee from far. They up here, right? That's all the way over here. So that's so so far, that's correct. Bible, it I did. Think, it did. That, we went to different captivities. I think that it happened. It happening today or not? Not the most recent one in America was a reference from the Bible because if you look at the time. Um, so you're saying the, 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 what I'm reading now is not talking about what happened to us at this time. No, I'm saying it could be. Yeah, it is. It, could, it, it could, is. It is. It Same thing happened. Right, and so because it's like it's very it's very parallel, and then it's a long time ago. You know what I'm saying? Like America or England, England people coming from England uh, was a long time. Watch ago. your back. It's a, it's a, it's a it was it was a long time ago, and so um, it was a and so um, uh, correct. That that sort correct. of thing was done back then. Yeah. Cause we went to we went, we went to we went to multiple captivities Babylonian Persian. This happened to us. But well, keep reading, keep reading on this. Listen, listen. The, the Lord shall bring a nation against thee from far, from the ends of the earth, as swift as the eagle flyer. As swift as the eagle flyer. What symbol? Who has a symbol of an eagle? Where you at right now? Yeah, no, I know, I know, I know. Where are you at right now? America, yeah, yeah, Britain, Spain, France. Look, I can, I can, I can name it that. America, that's Britain, that's France, that's Spain, Spain. They all had a symbol of an eagle that took the people in captivity. Right. Keep reading. A nation whose tongue, whose tongue thou shalt not understand. A nation whose tongue thou shalt not understand. We didn't understand. We didn't understand that tongue when they first came to, came over to, to get us. But now that's why we talk English. Uh, the so-called Hispanics talk Creole. The so-called Hispanics talk Spanish. Uh, talk, you know, talk Spanish. Those are all Caucasian nations that took us into captivity. Proving what? That we are the Israelites according to this Bible, brother. That's right. You're an Israelite. You ain't a black man. You ain't African American. If I call you that, I'll be disrespecting you. Talking down to you if I call you a, a, a black man. Right. You can't go to the country called black. 
Like I said, African American came out of Bishop Jackson in 85. Bring it out. How can you be, you probably older, or I know I'm older than my nationality. That's impossible. Bring it out. So if I speak English, what do I call the continent of Africa? No. Remember, remember what I told you. I mean, you can look it up. Africa got that name from Leo Scipio Africanus. That's right. Land of Ham or Canaan in the Bible. Land of Ham or Canaan in the Bible. That's that. That's what that region was called in biblical terms. It's called Africa now because Leo Scipio Africanus conquered it. And if we were, look at this, see the slave sign right here? If we were Africans, right, and we know we came from this part right here, Africa, right? Okay. Why does that say Negroes for sale from Sierra Leone? Bring it out. Why don't we say Africans for sale? You know, sister, that's a question for you too, sister. We are here preaching the Bible to our people to know who they are. That's the question. So how come it says Negroes and African and not Africans? You out of here? They ain't out of here yet. Now I'm just messing. With hey, you got the flyer? Yeah, Turn it on the back. I'm gonna show you something real quick. We should have got you subscribed to our page. This is our. Um, mm -hmm. So yeah, go ahead. Just, right just look at some of these flyers right here. Why right here in the pocket, man. How you talking, man? All right, you got some knowledge. Well, you gotta start keeping the commandments. Christ, they say he that's the real. That's that's what that's what knowledge is according to the Bible. Look at this. That's what knowledge is according to the Bible. Knowledge is. Let me prove to you one scripture. What knowledge is? Read it. Malachi, Malachi two and seven. One scripture. Sister, we're gonna show you what knowledge is right now. Don't you wanna be knowledgeable? Right. We're gonna read it to you. And I thought you gonna come back up. Read it. This is what knowledge is. Malachi chapter two, verse seven. For the priest's lips should keep knowledge. Priest's lips should keep knowledge, right? The priests should keep knowledge, right? What is knowledge? And they should seek the law at his mouth. They should seek the law, the law, the laws of God at the preacher's mouth. Remember the Sabbath day to keep it holy. Keep Passover, not Christmas. Keep tabernacles and not Thanksgiving. Women don't wear what men wear. We should, we, that's what real knowledge is. Knowing the laws of God. Nation is men leading by example.